The fact that I am up on a corrugated tin roof with all my tools out bears absolutely no relevance to this vlog video. However, it's a job that I've promised Mrs P that I will do today and although it's freezing cold up here, I've got to crack on with it. But in the meantime, I'm going to talk about engine oil burn in Formula 1 because there's a really interesting article today on motorsport.com, I'll link it in the description, talking about how the FIA are clamping down in a few areas related to engine performance, specifically how oil was being burned in the combustion process uh, largely through 2017 and whether it was having a performance impact. Right. So I just thought I would try and explain a little bit about why teams would want to burn oil inside their Formula 1 engines. Because it kind of goes against everything that you're told when you're learning about engines or engineering. If you ever see blue smoke being pumped out of the exhaust on your road car, people tell you it's bad, it's burning oil, the engine's burning oil, it needs to have some work doing to it because it will end up destroying the engine and using all of your oil and it's just bad. So why are Formula One teams doing it? Well, very quickly then, um, we burn fuel, petrol, inside uh, Formula One engines or any combustion powered engine uh, because that fuel, that petrol, contains energy. It's electrical energy stored within, uh, sorry it's not electrical energy at all, it's chemical energy stored within that petrol, within the liquid, and when we burn it, when we ignite it and combust it inside the combustion chamber, we unlock that energy. It explodes inside the chamber, forces the piston down, turns the engine, and that is how we produce the power that an engine can create. So, um, that petrol is very energy dense, a huge amount of energy stored and locked inside that petrol mix. Um, Oil also is a combustible liquid. It also contains some energy. Nowhere near as energy dense as petrol. That's why we use it to cool, clean and lubricate engines rather than to fuel them. But it does contain energy. And Formula One teams have learned and have discovered, and of course they're looking for the tiniest little elements now, the, the absolute edge of performance. They have learned that by unlocking some of that energy that's stored within the oil, if they add that to the combustion mix, chuck it into the combustion chamber and burn it, they can give themselves a little bit of a power boost. So, around the middle of last year, the FIA decided they were going to clamp down on Formula One teams burning oil and they reduced the amount of oil consumption that a Formula One engine or a Formula One power unit can consume throughout the course of a Grand Prix. That was great. That was great. It did raise some debate about whether or not it would affect the championship outcome. Would it affect Ferrari more so than it would Mercedes or vice versa? We don't really know, of course, because the teams are very, very secretive about exactly what they're doing buried deep inside those F1 power units, but it could have been a performance differentiator. Of course, that's why they do it. What's happening this year for 2018 is that those limits have been tightened even further by the FIA. So the amount of oil that a team is allowed to consume at any given point throughout a Grand Prix is reducing even further. That's the first thing. But they've also brought in some more clarification in the wording of these regulations. So teams are now only allowed to expel um, the excess oil or the, uh, the, the oil that is blown out of an engine, which is quite common, they're only now allowed to expel that out the back of the car through a breather pipe. What teams potentially were doing before and why this wording has been changed is instead of pumping the breather fluids out the back, the excess oil out the back of the car, they were potentially feeding it back into the intake side of the engine and burning it because that oil contains some combustible parts. Crucially, when that oil is brand new, clean, fresh oil, 
it contains more combustible parts. Essentially, it contains more energy. And therefore, particularly in areas like qualifying, there was a real advantage to be had for putting that clean, fresh oil in and burning it as part of that combustion process when you needed a direct power boost, like in qualifying, like when you wanted to affect a, an overtake. So a change on the steering wheel settings could change the mapping and effectively pump some of those additives from the oil into the combustion chamber to boost the power output of the engine. That also has now been clamped down. Ultimately, what the FIA are trying to do here is make sure that oil, the only reason oil should be in a Formula 1 engine is to cool, clean and lubricate the parts. What they don't want is that being used as a fuel. Now the teams, of course, will try and push those boundaries as much as they possibly can. They will be looking for ways to just get any, any tiny little parts that they can feed back in as part of the combustion. And the FIA, of course, are constantly trying to take them the other way, constantly trying to make sure that it is only the fuel that is being burnt to power these engines. So really, just a short video today, but I just wanted to sort of put some context to this discussion about oil burn and why the FIA are clamping down on it, how they're clamping down on it and what teams were potentially trying to do with it over the course of last year and, and probably well further back than that. Um, as always, I'd love to know what you think about it. If you've got any further questions, if there's anything I haven't explained that you'd like further explanation on, just drop me a line. Pop a comment below. Uh, I really will try and answer as many as I can. Um, I hope you like the video, even though it's not very long. Please hit like if you do. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it around with your mates. And I'll see you next time.